level one automatization means to have one domain assisted by the machine and one by the driver. So longitudinal control by an ACC system, so the car follows automatically the car in front, but the lateral control, the heading control, is to be done by the driver. For level two systems, both of these domains are assisted by the car, but uh, the driver has to be alert all the time and has to be capable of taking over within a second. Level three, first time means that the driver is allowed to hand over responsibility to the car. He is allowed to do side tasks and has to be able to step in in about 10 seconds. So he isn't allowed to sleep, but he has many, many time to do something else than driving. Four at the end means uh, the driver is not needed in certain situations. So maybe for the highway pilot on the highway mode, the driver can sit back, relax, and even sleep. And before the car gets off the highway, uh, it will wake up the driver, and the driver can take over and go off the highway. Level five at the end means the driver is not needed in any case on any street on earth. The major challenges and milestones at the same time were um, that we take over the whole responsibility for the driving task in these situations. So uh, the first challenge is to do the sensor data fusion. So first time uh, we have all the sensors gathered together in one computing unit and take one 360 degree picture of the world around us. This allows us to um, do even complicated situations in the automated mode. The second challenge is to have redundancy. Redundancy in the braking system, redundancy in the steering system. So if even there was a failure in the system, we always bring the car to a safe standstill in the traffic jam. Well, regulations are fundamentally relevant, of course. Uh, so we have all the technical descriptions that we have to meet, all the norms and standards we have to meet. And of course, we have all the legal uh, traffic aspects we have to meet. And uh, it doesn't make sense to put a system on the market uh, that the driver uh, wouldn't be allowed to use. So in many states, there's still one hand on the wheel rule. So you have to have one hand on the steering wheel to make sure that you're driving yourself and a level four system wouldn't make sense in these countries. So that's why these rules are fundamentally important for us. And uh, we try to present our systems to, yeah, may all um, the stakeholders allow these systems and see the comfort. Normally when we think about driving, we have this big vision of the early morning, um, free rural roads where we have fun driving, but our daily business uh, looks quite different. So when we go on a usual highway, uh, there's traffic all around us and it's not that much fun driving. And I think people will enjoy being driven.